It's Christmas time and time for Carol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, bitches. We're about halfway there for this bourbon calendar from Drinks by the Dram. We've already tasted a ton of great bourbons. If you haven't seen what I've been drinking yet, go back and check the older videos and, uh, and get caught up with our journey thus far. Last time we drank the 1792 small batch, today, who knows? But we're about to find out. So day number 12 is right here. It's becoming easier to find as I narrow down the options. Yellowstone Select. So it's actually a blended whiskey from seventh generation distillers Paul and Steve Beam of the Jim Beam family. And it's made by Limestone Branch. It's a different blend of bourbons, it's said to be a perfect fusion of bourbons and high rye bourbon whiskeys as well. So it should have a pretty good spice to it, maybe a little bit of a cinnamon flavor. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm gonna give it a try and let you guys know what I think. This is gonna be my first time drinking it. I have seen these bottles before, but I haven't felt compelled to purchase them yet. So who knows, maybe this one will pique my fancy and I'll go out and buy a bottle for my own collection. Yeah, anything's possible. It is Christmas after all. One thing I've kind of picked up on is some of the bottles in this advent calendar have logos on them from the distilleries and others do not, so I don't know if that's like an issue of like copyrighted material or like them not having the rights to reproduce the imagery. Um, a lot of them just have these drinks by the dram tags on them with the name of the bourbon, which makes it kind of hard to like figure out exactly what it is from the get-go, but it's kind of interesting. You think if they're re-bottling this bourbon and repurposing it for this cause, that they would have the ability to use the logos, since they are selling the product, but who knows, there's probably all kinds of red tape with that. So anyway, the color is kind of like a Yellowstone color. It's got a nice golden hue to it, um, much lighter than your typical run-of-the-mill bourbon. Oof. Definitely doesn't smell very alcoholic. There's not a whole lot of burn on the nose. It, uh, it's actually really smooth. You got a ton of vanilla bean off of just the aroma alone, which excites me. It makes me think that you might get some of that in the flavor as well. I assume you will. Let's find out. Oh yeah, ooh, that's interesting. So that... <laughs> Sounds ridiculous to say this, but it actually kind of tastes like Christmas. It's got like a little bit of a cinnamon allspice flavor to it. You actually kind of get, even though it's obviously filtered and doesn't have any grains in it, you get kind of like granular texture on your mouth, just like, you know, eating a spoonful of um, like cinnamon sugar on applesauce, you get like that flavor from it. The vanilla is there, but it's not as present as it is in the aroma. Yeah, that's really different. It literally almost tastes like a cocktail with cinnamon in it. Um, but it's just neat whiskey. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will have to buy a bottle of that. That's like a good season's greetings kind of bourbon. So fitting to be the 12th day in this advent calendar, I suppose, as we near the big day Christmas and Christmas Eve. Yeah, if you're looking for a nice seasonal bourbon, like I wouldn't, I don't know if you'd want to drink this in the summertime, but if you're looking for a good winter bourbon, maybe you should check out this Yellowstone Select. It's, uh, it's got a really unique flavor to it. I've never really tasted anything like it. Yeah, and it's not hot at all. It doesn't burn on the way down. Not really so much on the back end either. You do get a little effervescent in the roof of your mouth, but just smooth all around, so hey, that's a good one. Another new one to add to my catalog, so hope you enjoyed that little insight into this bourbon. If you're uh, in the market for something a little spicier, like maybe you guys like kind of unorthodox bourbons or like different flavors that you don't normally get, or even for like a scotch drinker that's used to like more herbal stuff, like check this guy out. 
I'm not entirely sure what the retail value is because I haven't really seen it around my way too often. But hey, that's what Google's for. You can just check it out that way. So yeah, Yellowstone Select, day number 12. We'll see you on day number 13 with some more bourbon. And uh, in the meantime, have a great night. Enjoy yourselves.